Welcome back. It is another beautiful day in Paris and today we are going to be doing tons of different experiences with our Paris Pass. So we are so excited to try some of the most unique experiences here in the city. We are Jordan and Soph, a young married couple who left it all behind to travel to 40 countries in one year. Which brings us to our fourth day in the City of Lights after three amazing days of exploring the historic side of Paris, the Louvre, and dedicating one full day to simply trying the best of Parisian cuisine. Yesterday, we managed to get over 250 euros worth of food with our city pass. And today, we plan on going up the Eiffel Tower, maybe a hot air balloon, and for sure, a riverboat cruise. We'll also be going to a perfumery shop to make our own perfumes. We are starting the day at Sacre Coeur on the Montmartre Hill. It is a very beautiful spot to see at the sunrise, but we also are just kind of walking around the Montmartre neighborhood through its little alleyways. There's lots of cobblestones, and now we are we are on our way to breakfast to start our day with some macarons. This morning we are at La Mer Catherine, which was founded in 1793 for the breakfast of champions. We were served four macaroons along with some espresso and a biscuit. So for the macaroons, I think I have a lemon, a chocolate, a pistachio, and then like a vanilla bean. They all look very good and I'm excited to start eating them vanilla bean first. Wow, okay, so vanilla bean is so good that I'm actually stealing the rest of this one from Jordan. It is one of the best macarons I've ever had. Pistachio. Quite good, but the vanilla bean was better. And I just find it so funny how we're just like eating four little cookies for breakfast this morning. Probably not the healthiest choice for breakfast, but when in Paris. Next, we are almost to Musée du Perfume, where we're going to be doing a tour of the Perfume Museum and then making our own perfume in a little workshop, which sounds super fun and something I've never done before. So we are almost there. I can see it. It's right across the street. So we're gonna pop inside and yeah, go make some perfume and learn more about it. The perfumery was opened in 1926 and we were led on a tour through the museum where our guide explained to us the perfume making process before we had the opportunity to mix some different notes to create our own signature scent. So perfume, I use something called notes to create the fragrances. The essences, okay, extracted from the ingredients, from the flowers, from the plants, from the fruits, okay. In the world, we have almost 3,000 notes. These notes are divided into three big categories, okay. Head notes, herb notes, and bait notes. These three bottles that you have in front of you. It's written in French, but not the tab, that means head notes, okay. Not the curve, Curve notes and not the foam base notes. Okay? How's that smell? Take a smell. It smells so orange. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> Very, very traditional brand. So we just came out of the perfumery workshop and wow, I feel like I have so many smells going on in my nose right now. We each got to create our own little perfume. I, of course, you know, went hard to work to create the perfect perfume. There was just a ton of head notes in mine, you know, those notes of citrus and of lime and of, you know, other head notes. And then of course there was base some- Base note. Well, there was some Floral base notes. Floral notes. But there was also some like heart or middle notes, you know. Oh yeah. Just, just a hint of a hint of jasmine, I believe. And then of course <laughs> there was the there, base notes there to really just- There was no jasmine. <laughs> there was some jasmine. No, there was not jasmine. And then of course there were some base notes just to really wrap everything there together, like a little burrito. <laughs> there was, I, I think some wood smell in there. <laughs> and some, musk. Yes, some a hint of a musk, I think. <laughs> hint um, of a musk. And then, of course, some honey. So it really just went to work and made the perfect 
perfume. We know nothing about perfume, but Obviously. we know more now than we did before the workshop. Unfortunately, we have some sad news. Yes, I just called the hot air balloon company and it was all French. And so I went to their website and there I saw that they were not flying because it is too windy today. Sad. So that's really sad. <laughs> we're looking forward to our free hot air balloon over Paris because that sounds kind of amazing to be honest. So this museum of the perfume and the perfume workshop, which is called like Fragonand, I believe. It's right next to the Gallery Lafayette, the old original one, the Gallery Lafayette that I wanted to go to uh, the other day. So it's really old, it's really beautiful. It's also right next to an opera house. So we're gonna go check out the Gallery Lafayette and there's also a view from the roof. So we're gonna go to the rooftop one right now and check that out instead before we head over to the Eiffel Tower to climb up in it this afternoon. We'll also probably grab some lunch at some point because I'm hungry. Some lunch, some coffee, all the things here in Paris. So we took a tram back to the Montmartre neighborhood because we're basically going back really close to where we had breakfast this morning because our Paris Pass gets us a champagne lunch. So that's what we are heading to. We've done a lot of steps today and we have a lot more step. We're definitely getting a workout in before lunch. So we are very, very hungry. For lunch, we're at Au Cadet de Gasson, which is an incredible little market that overlooks the square here at Walmart. And it is so crazy. We were obviously here at the restaurant right next door, which is the Catherine restaurant where we started this morning for lunch. And it is night and day difference from this morning compared to now at lunch. There's so many people, there's so many artists that are set up with their paintings. It's honestly like a little market scene. So it's a totally different vibe from this morning around sunrise. But with our Paris Pass, we got two glasses of champagne and apparently there's supposed to be cake on the way. But we are so so hungry so we did end up ordering some food for ourselves and because we have a long day climbing the Eiffel Tower ahead of us We decided just to go for cheap and filling so we got a Chicken burger here. That's what I got. It came with a basket of fries and a salad and we got a cheeseburger So very filling meal to go along with the other things that are included in our Paris Pass So it looks like a very delicious little reef fuel here. Then we're gonna walk around quick, check out some of the paintings before we hop on a metro to head over to the Eiffel Tower because we have a time slot to actually climb up in it and I've heard it's a lot of steps and a really good workout. So I'm gonna dive into my chicken burger. We have now made it to the Eiffel Tower. I told Sophia to keep her eyes averted. I'm gonna lead her to the perfect viewing spot and then I'm gonna have her look up and finally get a close up view of the Eiffel Tower. The thing she's been waiting to see since she was like 12 or 13 or something. It's going to be the moment of a lifetime. All right, just a little bit further now. Keep those eyes down. No peeking. We are also like borderline late for our meetup. We're supposed to be there about 30 minutes early. We're about 25 minutes early right now, but I'm pretty sure we're good as long as we get there, you know, before like check-in closes. So it'll be a quick look and then rush over to where we're supposed to be. Okay, right. uh, wait, 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 wait. On the count of three, turn around and get your first super close view of the Eiffel Tower, okay? Whenever you feel like you're ready, of course. If you need a moment to prepare yourself, take it. I'm ready. Oh my gosh, there it is. It's absolutely beautiful. Wow. With the grand reveal over, it is now time to go find our tour group before we miss the check-in time. We're not too far away, so hopefully we make it. It is so amazing. Like, I don't even have words. It's so surreal to be standing right in front of the Eiffel Tower, a place I've wanted to go for so, so long. 
It's truly an incredible, incredible day. So we just got all checked in. We got our little stickers and we're just waiting for our guide to join us. The closer we got, the bigger it looks and my legs are already hurting just thinking about it. We've already almost walked eight miles today. Believe it or not, I know it doesn't seem like we actually have done that much today, but yeah, it's actually eight miles. So by the time we're actually done today, absolutely cooked. And we're actually gonna stay here tonight until the lights come on for the Eiffel Tower, which is not till 10 o'clock. So we still have a long day ahead of us. So we've made it to the first level here of the Eiffel Tower, which I can't even believe that I'm saying that right now, but it was built by Gustav Eiffel in 1887 and built in two years to be the main attraction of the World Fair in 1889. Now, of course, it's one of the most iconic structures in the world and it's still maintained beautifully, being repainted every seven years to keep the iron from rusting, which is essential to keeping this in top condition. And then of course, we have the Olympics that will be happening here next summer, summer 2024. And I heard a rumor that volleyball will be down in the garden right in front of the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower will still be open next summer and people will get kind of a peek at some of the Olympic events as they're touring the Eiffel Tower, which sounds incredible. We get to chill here for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna head up to the second tower. So all in all, we're climbing about 700 stairs today. We're not going to the third level, just level one and level two today. So we're now at the second level here in the Eiffel Tower and the view is even more stunning and it's more packed since we're higher up and there is way less space, but still totally an incredible experience. Next, we're gonna go back down this time by elevator, which is a nice option after doing all those steps. We're actually gonna hop on a boat to cruise the Seine while we wait for sunset to come back here and watch the Eiffel Tower light up and sparkle. just got done with our cruise through the Seine and honestly it was so relaxing and it was such a great way to just get to see a lot of the city. We've honestly walked a lot of the city already but it was a lot nicer to get to see everything and not have to walk all of it. It was an entire hour so after that we walked over here to the Eiffel Tower Garden but on our way we grabbed some falafels but we are going to enjoy this as the sun sets. We're going to wait a couple of hours out here so we can see the twinkling Eiffel Tower and also while we wait we we stopped by a souvenir shop and found a deck of cards. Now we get to use them tonight as we wait for the sun to set. The first shuffle of a brand new deck of cards. It's 10, so any minute the Eiffel Tower is about to light up. So it's very, very exciting. I know people are starting to stand up, so I think that's a good sign. It's getting really, really chilly out here, actually. It's really cold. So every other minute we have, we have someone trying to sell us beer or wine for 20 euros, which is steep. I saw you could get wine and beer for like three euros at the store, so bring your own. It's starting. It's so pretty. I can't believe this is real right now. Oh, 
All right, we are now leaving the Eiffel Tower. It was absolutely gorgeous all lit up at night. So today we were using the Paris City Go Pass and we saved so much money. Today alone, we used our passes to get macaroons, to go do the perfume workshop, to go up into the Eiffel Tower. We got some free drinks at lunch and we even got the boat cruise all for free or with the pass today. So that was all valued at 240 euros. And yesterday we ate all kinds of food, all valued at 250 euros. So we got nearly $500 worth of value out of those those two passes that we got for only $200. So definitely a great deal for us. We had an incredible day today and tomorrow is our very last day in Paris. So stay tuned as we spend our last day tomorrow.